Hey guys, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and in this tutorial, I want to show you how you can instantly transform your image in so many different ways using Adobe Camera Raw or ACR. Now, for those of you who don't use ACR, it is included in your Creative Cloud subscription, and it is really similar to Lightroom. So a lot of things that I do inside ACR, you can do them inside of Lightroom too. All right. I always love knowing where you guys are at. So before I get started, leave me a comment below and let me know where are you watching from right now? I do go through, I do read those and I love to know where you guys are at. I also want to just make a note that to do a lot of what we're going to do right now, you should be running the most updated version. So if you haven't run your updates in a while, you want to make sure that you get in there and just click to update to the newest versions. All right, I'm going to work with this photo right here and I have it pulled up in ACR. And what we're going to do to change the look really simply is I'm going to go over to where it says profile. So I am on the right hand side here. I'm going to click this arrow down and I'm going to go all the way down to where it says browse. Okay. Um, my favorites are already pulled up. I'm just going to click out of there. But when you click into any one of these different little side arrows, it's going to pull up all different kinds of filters that are really going to change the look of your photo. Let me show you. Let's go into camera matching first. So if I just open that up and I just slide my arrow or slide that cursor over any of these, you can see that it instantly transforms the way that the photo looks. Now a lot of these are just slight, but if we go down here to artistic, you'll see there's a lot more choices. So let's open up artistic. And I'm going to close out a camera matching. And now let's take a look. Look at all of the different variations that we can get with this one photo with all of these filters that are already in here. Now, if that's too artistic for you, there are other ones down here. So you can open up the different black and white filters. You can open up the more modern looking ones, which I actually really like these modern filters here. So you can see exactly what it looks like too, just by sliding over and you can just see the different results you get with that. Pretty cool, huh? Click out of there. You could try vintage. You get a whole bunch more choices here too. Um, give it a try today, you guys, and uh, let me know your results. Let me know which ones you really like or maybe don't like. I think it's kind of cool in a fun way just to play around and get creative with your images. Thanks for watching this quick tutorial today, you guys. And if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel yet, I would love it if you would. 